Hello students, welcome. In the previous lecture, you had learnt three important concepts of cardinal utility analysis in that first one is initial utility, second one is total utility and the third one is marginal utility, right. Now listen here, in this class we are going to study a very interesting topic of the second chapter that is the law of diminishing marginal utility. Okay, and this topic is very important for your examination point of view. Now listen here, the law of diminishing marginal utility is also called the cardinal utility approach because the law of diminishing marginal utility is assumes that the utility can be measured in cardinal numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4 etc. That is why it is considered as cardinal utility approach. Okay. And now in this class we are going to study in detail about the law of diminishing marginal utility. Firstly we will look at the introduction of the law, then the statements of the law, then the assumptions. Next the schedule that shows or to that explains the law of diminishing marginal utility, then the graph and finally the conclusion for the law of diminishing marginal utility, right. And now we will look at the introduction of the law of diminishing marginal utility. Now let us see the introduction here. Who introduces the law of diminishing marginal utility? Means here Mr. H. Gosen, he is a German economist, was first to explain the law. Okay, who was the first to explain this law? The German economist Mr. H. Gosen was first to explain the law of diminishing marginal utility in the year 1854. Yes, therefore, this law is also known as Gosen's first law. Yes, therefore, this law means here the law of diminishing marginal utility is also known as Gosen's first law because he was the first to explain the law of diminishing marginal utility in the year 1854. Right? Later, Professor Alfred Marshall has popularized the law of diminishing marginal utility. Who popularized this law? Professor Alfred Marshall has popularized this law. Okay, this is what the introduction of the law of diminishing marginal utility. Okay, now let us see the statements. Means uh, the, according to this law, as a consumer increases the consumption of any one commodity, the marginal utility of that commodity must decline. What this law tells us, according to this law, as a consumer increases the consumption, okay, as a consumer increases the consumption of a particular commodity, the marginal utility Okay, then what is marginal utility here? It is an extra satisfaction that a consumer gets by consuming one extra unit of a commodity. Okay, means here marginal utility means it is an extra or the additional satisfaction that a consumer gets by consuming one additional unit of a commodity. Means here as a consumer increases the consumption of a particular commodity, his marginal utility must decline. Okay, means his marginal utility will what uh, the marginal utility will decreases or to simplify again uh, this concept again I will uh, clearly explain you. When a consumer consumes a particular commodity continuously, when a consumer consumes a particular commodity continuously, then the utility derives from each successive units goes on diminishing. Okay. When a consumer go on consuming a particular commodity continuously, his level of satisfaction will decreases. Okay. This is the statement of the law of diminishing marginal utility. Right. Now, the next is assumption. Here, there are some assumptions 
if that assumptions are fulfilled then only the law of diminishing marginal utility is applicable okay now let's see the first assumption here the units of consumption must be in standard units like a cup of tea a cup of coffee a glass of water or an apple etc okay means whatever the amount of whatever the units of units of commodities that a consumer is going to consuming that must be in standard units like a cup of tea a cup of coffee a glass of water or an apple etc then only the law of diminishing marginal utility is applicable right now the second assumption is all the units of the commodity must be identical identical means same means all the units of the commodity that the consumer is going to consuming that must be identical in quality color taste size etc okay that must be identical in quality color taste or size etc then only the law of diminishing marginal utility is applicable now the third one is the units of the consumption must be consumed continuously okay whatever the amount of uh, units whatever the units that is the consumer is going to consuming that must be continuously means the consumption must be continuously if there is any interval between the consumption of two units then the law will not applicable if there is any interval between the consumption of two units then the law is not applicable means the consumption must be continuously okay if the consumption is continuous then only the law of diminishing marginal utility is applicable right now the next assumption is utility can be measured in cardinal numbers like 1 2 3 4 etc because the law of diminishing marginal utility assumes that utility can be measured in numbers like 1 2 3 4 that is why it is also called cardinal utility approach now the next one is consumer should be an ordinary person this law is not applicable to an extraordinary person right this is very important the consumer must be what here an ordinary person not an extraordinary person if the consumer is an ordinary person then only the law of diminishing marginal utility is applicable now the next one is the consumer must be rational it means consumer should maximize the utility means the consumer must be a normal then he should maximize his utility then only the law of diminishing marginal utility is applicable these are six assumptions of law of diminishing marginal utility and this all six assumptions are fulfilled then only the law is applicable okay now then this picture shows you the law of diminishing marginal utility look at the first picture here here the consumer is going to drinking a glass of water okay by consuming the first glass of water his level of satisfaction is very high compared to the second glass of water after consuming continuously he consumes okay if the consumer is consuming the commodities continuously then only the law of diminishing marginal utility is applicable okay now if he consumes the second glass of water then he will gets lesser satisfaction than the first glass of water after consuming the third glass of water he gets again lesser and lesser satisfaction compared to second and first glass of water this is what the law of diminishing marginal utility as a consumer go on consuming a particular commodity continuously his marginal utility will decline okay this is what here the law of diminishing marginal utility
now next is schedule okay this schedule will help you to explain or to understand the law of diminishing marginal utility now the first column shows you the units of consumption and the second one is the marginal utility and the third one is total utility look at the units column here here the consumer is consuming 1 2 3 4 5 6 units of commodity okay that to continuously and look at the marginal utility column as a consumer go on consuming one by one commodities his marginal utility is gone decreasing and finally it becomes negative and look at the total utility column there here total utility at the starting stage it will increases and after reaching certain point it will also decline this is what the total utility and this we will see in the graph now this this graph shows you the law of diminishing marginal utility okay right now look at the graph here here i will draw a graph first this graph will help you to understand the law of diminishing marginal utility the schedule is uh, shown under graph now here this is what the ox axis and this one is oy axis means here units is measured on ox axis and utility is measured on oy axis units are measured on ox axis and utility is measured on oy axis okay now see here how many units are there here here there are six units are there 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay here we have measured the utility okay here we will write the scale of utility as 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 okay now we will draw first the marginal utility curve okay the marginal utility curve now let's see the marginal utility when a consumer consumes the first unit of a commodity what will be the marginal utility here the marginal utility is how much here 12 units okay here there is a 12 units later if a consumer consumes a second unit of a commodity then here marginal utility his marginal utility will decreases from 12 to 6 units from 12 to 6 units later he consumes the third units of a commodity then again his marginal utility declines from 6 units to 4 units and when he consumes the fourth unit of a commodity his marginal utility becomes 2 units after he consuming the fifth units of a con- uh, fifth units of a commodity his marginal utility becomes 0 after consuming the sixth unit the marginal utility falls under negative that is minus 2 right this is what the marginal utility curve marginal utility curve m u okay now we will draw the total utility curve by consuming the first unit of a commodity the consumer will gets 12 units of total utility that is here by second units of a commodity he will get 18 units of satisfaction then later by 
third units the total utility will be 22 by fourth units the total utility will be 24 by the fifth units the total utility will be again 24 by consuming the sixth unit the total utility will be 22 means see here, here total utility is decreasing after reaching certain level of satisfaction here total utility will also decreases now draw here the total utility curve this is what the total utility curve now this diagram is about what here the law of diminishing marginal utility okay now look at the diagram this diagram will see you like this here utility units are utility is measured on oy axis and units are measured on ox axis and mu means here the marginal utility curve and tu means the total utility curve okay now let's see the conclusion for the law of diminishing marginal utility this is the last step of what the law of diminishing marginal utility then what is the conclusion here from the above table and graph we understood that the marginal utility decreases and the total utility increases by continuous consumption of a particular commodity okay my miss by this diagram what we understood by consuming the commodities continuously, the consumer's marginal utility will continuously decreases and total utility will increases after reaching certain level of certain level of point. The total utility will also decreases. Okay, this is what here the law of diminishing marginal utility right this is very important topic for your examination point of view in the next class we will uh, take the ordinal utility analysis okay